I am perfect. My prayer life is perfect. My prayer journal is perfect. <sighs> and if you had a prayer journal as perfect as mine, your prayer life would be perfect too. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows that not a single one of those statements is at all true. Hi there, my name is Crystal and my life is not perfect. My prayer journal is not perfect. My prayer life is not perfect. And I most definitely am not perfect. So why am I making a video about my prayer journal? Well, there are thousands, maybe even more than thousands. I don't know. There are a gazillion videos out there telling you about how to have the perfect prayer journal. And if you just click the link in the video description below and you can purchase this perfect prayer journal for $9.95, blah, 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 blah. My friends, there is no perfect prayer journal. There is no perfect prayer life. It's all a journey and there is no quick fix. But one of you asked me to share my prayer journal with you and because I believe in being authentic and transparent, I'm going to bear it all. And believe me, it's pretty rough. But I'll show you what I got and maybe it'll inspire you. There is no perfect prayer journal out there that will magically transform your prayer life. But your prayer life can be transformed and you can look back and see the growth that you've experienced. When you use a prayer journal, it gives you the opportunity to look back and see how you've changed over the years. And that's why I'm going to share with you this journal because I've been working on it for a long time and it's been through a lot with me. Now, I told you that becoming a prayer warrior doesn't happen overnight. The change is not instantaneous. At least for me, it wasn't. And it still isn't. I am, like I said, not perfect. God's still working on me. I started this prayer journal way back in 2019. I had watched the movie War Room, and if you've never seen it, it's an amazing movie and you really should watch it. It's very inspiring. I didn't really know what I was doing or what I wanted to see happen. I just knew that my prayer life was lacking and I wanted to see God do amazing things and help me to become more effective in my prayer life. I mean, if I truly believed that prayer made a difference and that God listened to me, then I should spend time actually praying, right? This journal was my way to make that happen. So I started reading a whole bunch of books about prayer and I just opened myself up to him. I started collecting quotes and scriptures about prayer that inspired me. I would love to tell you that over the last four years, it's been nothing but sunshine and roses and the angels singing down from heaven as I lifted my prayers up. But I'm human and I fail. I've had good stretches of prayer where I've had solid days, weeks, months of praying every day and really being a strong prayer warrior. And I've had other stretches of time where I've struggled to put one foot in front of the other and meet with God every day. So my friend, if you are struggling in your prayer journey, know that you are not alone and that a prayer journal is not a magic cure-all, but it can help. I've tried a lot of different things in this journal. So let's take a look and see what has worked for me, what hasn't. In the beginning, I struggled with motivation and every month I would make a graph and chart how long I spent praying and track my progress. These days, I really just kind of keep track of whether I prayed or not and I don't worry about how much time I've spent because I don't like to be so legalistic about it. A little while ago, I made a special page with the Lord's Prayer on it because it teaches us exactly how to pray and sometimes I don't know what to say, so I just use the words that Jesus taught us to say. And it's always a good refresher and a reminder of what to include in my prayers. 
And just the way Jesus taught us to pray, I always start with praise and worship. So I started writing down scriptures that focused my mind on praising him for who he is and what he's done. And it keeps my focus on him and not on me. Prayer should always include a time of thanksgiving. And so I, over the years, have done this in many different ways from having a list each month. Right now, my friend gave me a gratitude journal and it has a place for each day, so I'm using that. The next part of my prayer is outward focused, both worldwide and local. So I spend time praying about different missionaries that have come to my church that I've been burdened to pray for. I pray for our church food pantry and other church outreach programs that we have. I have gotten really excited about The Voice of the Martyrs, which is a program for persecuted Christians around the world. And the International Day of Prayer is coming up soon in November. So I'm really spending a lot of time praying about that and how I can get more involved in that. I also include some prayer for different holiday outreach opportunities like shoebox collection and angel tree and giving boxes. And then I spend some time praying about the pastors at my church and different programs and discipleship and wanting to make sure that I am being faithful to pray for my church. The next part of my prayer life focuses on praying for my daily bread. I like to pray over my YouTube channel, praying for each of my viewers who have ever left a comment. I try to pray for God to use my channel however he wills, for the inspiration and motivation to keep going. I pray for specific requests that I gather at weekly Bible studies or from the church prayer chain or that are shared by friends and family. I keep a monthly page of requests for myself and for my immediate family members. And then I also have a section about my the desires of my heart, the long-term requests and dreams that God has laid on my heart for me to pray about. And it's just a place to remind myself about the small progress and reminders to be patient and wait on His timing. Another portion of the Lord's Prayer focuses on confessing when we have wronged someone and asking forgiveness and for the ability to forgive others who have wronged us. At times, I've made a page and listed all the things that I needed to confess, but I found that I just dwelt on it too much and I ended up changing my strategy to where I would write these down and then once I had confessed them to the Lord, I would just rip them up or burn them because God forgives and lets them go and I don't need to keep beating myself up over them. Sometimes working my way through my journal and looking at all the different pages is not the approach that I need to take for that day. And so I spend some time just pouring out my heart to God. Maybe I need to spend a little time preparing myself. So I decorate the page with some stickers and then I just journal. And I talk to him about how I feel and I pour out my heart. That's what I want you to get from today's video. There is no right or wrong way to keep a prayer journal. You can't do it wrong. And anybody who tells you that you are doing it wrong or that there is a specific right way to do it, well, they're wrong. (laughs) Because some things will work for a while and then you have to change it up and some things will never work for you. We're all different. And what's my evidence for that? My evidence is my Bible. David poured out his heart in the Psalms, recording both his worship and his desperate cries for help. Jeremiah poured out his grief and desperation in Lamentations. Daniel met with God every day by the window in his room. Paul recorded his prayers and included them in his letters to the churches. My point is that whether you journal your prayers in long form writing out each and every word, pray through the Lord's Prayer or in the Psalms, decorate and sketch on the pages, or just keep a bullet list. God can work and move a little at a time and transform you into the prayer warrior that you want to be. 
it's just not going to happen instantly or just because you bought the perfect new pens or these fancy new stickers or this amazing perfect new prayer journal. Now y'all know that I love some fancy new pens and I am all about the stickers and washi tape. Get out of here. You can never have too much washi tape. But seriously, none of that is what makes a prayer journal powerful. What makes a prayer journal powerful is the heart that you bring to it and how you dig into it and use it to talk to God. This little prayer journal is always sitting there waiting for me and God is always right there on the other side, just waiting to hear from me. When I open it up and flip through it, I see all the prayers that he's answered over the past four years and I see all the ways that he has touched my life and the lives of those who are important to me. And I know that he will continue to meet with me every time I fall to my knees, every time I open my heart, every time I whisper his name. I guess what I'm saying is just start. Don't wait to buy the perfect prayer journal. Goodness knows this one is pretty rough and it's seen a few better days. It doesn't matter what journal you have. It doesn't matter how fancy it is. It doesn't matter if you make it pretty. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you start. What matters is that you pour out your heart to God and you open yourself to hear from him. What matters is that you give him back his scriptures and you claim his promises and you ask him who are you and what do i do next what matters is that you grow deeper in your relationship with him so if my prayer journal encourages you and inspires you then i am thankful that i've had this opportunity to share it with you and if keeping a prayer journal is not for you that's okay but i pray that you will find a way to open your heart to God and spend some time with him today and in all the future days because he's right there waiting for you, ready to listen, ready to speak to you because he loves you. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to bop that like button to encourage YouTube to share the video with others. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're enjoying my videos, please make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when the next videos come out. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. David poured out his heart in the Psalms. Dear Jeremiah, uh. that's what I want you to get from today's video. There is no right or wrong. <laughs>